G'day folks, Jason here from Off-Road Living. Today I just wanted to show you a couple of the uh, 12 volt items that we have in our car. Had a few questions of late um, from customers and a few people that we've been speaking to about what we have in our truck and we've never really shown our setup in detail so I'll just quickly show you some of the things that we've got running. From the driver's seat I can access most of the information I need to. Up here we've got the Red Arc Manager 30 minus the surround which I've misplaced somewhere along the line. This one keeps an eye on everything that's going on with the lithium battery in the rear, uh, which is actually the third battery, but that's um, where the majority of our loads come from, the fridge, inverter, uh, lights, and all that sort of stuff. I can keep an eye on what's going on. All the solar panels are connected to this, and you can see everything that's going on in, in this unit, all from the driver's seat. Uh, got me uh, radio up here as well. Um, can get access to Kathleen as well, uh, if she wants to talk on the radio. Got the external speaker, which is uh, almost a must when you've got a uh, V8 Troopy. Um, they're pretty noisy when you drive along the highway, so that's the only way you can actually hear what's going on. I've uh, got the Innerwise um, tire pressure monitoring system up here as well. Um, these come with the uh, internal uh, pressure monitors, not the screw-on ones, so they sit inside the rim. Um, keep an eye on what's going on there. Battery monitor for keeping an eye on what's going on in the two batteries that are under the engine bay as well, in the engine bay. Um, so I can keep an eye on all three batteries from here. Um, pretty much everything I need to, to need and see what I'm, what I'm driving along and, and when we're also parked up. Also got plenty of other sockets around the place. Um, got a USB up here, uh, additional voltage monitor. Um, see what's going on at the same time sockets down here as you can see I'm a bit of a socket junkie the sockets all over the place um, these run off the main uh, battery just in case we need a uh, additional supply at some stage um, up the top here got charging here so this is for the torch also for charging batteries and stuff for the radio the handheld as well um, and then for the kids we've got sockets in the side here as well so they can keep their iPads and stuff charged as well while we're driving along um, then we got half a chance of having them charged when we pull up and not using all the uh, the battery power so that's about it plus a little bit more in the back for the kids just in case there was ever a need for uh, just that little bit more as well um, always seem to be running out of sockets so uh, we have a lot of uh, stuff running around the place so <laughs> That's about it. Um, I'll show you some stuff in the back, but I've got to move to do that, so we'll cut into that in a sec. Righto, in the back of the Truby, um, we've got third battery, of course, which I was talking about before. We've got the lithium ion phosphate battery here, it's 120 amp hour. That's running uh, and charging from the rear uh, through the Red Arc Manager 30. It's a bit hard to see behind there, but the, the main charging unit is hiding in that little pocket. It's got a big empty space behind there, so it's a good spot for it. Um, Gets plenty of ventilation, so it's all good and stays cool. Plus all the necessary circuit protection for uh, going from the battery across to fuse panels and inverters, uh, all of that sort of gear. Um, that's all tucked away and hidden behind the panels when, when it's all packed away properly. Of course up the top, we've got the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, that's the AllSpark brand. Um, that's one of our first products that we brought to market, really proud of how they perform and how they go. And up the top of the year, we've also got a uh, self I go uh, model. It's a, a Telstra booster, I guess, um, that it helps to keep your mobile signal up and going. Uh, really only need zero to sort of one bars, just enough to actually get a, a basic signal and it'll ramp it up to four to five bars. So it keeps us in contact with you guys uh, when we're out and the odd actual time that we actually get time to go out and about not as many uh, weekends and days as we'd like but it does give us that chance uh, to still stay in touch when we're out there um, that's just temporary hooked up with cable ties testing that to see how it goes so um, once we work out what goes on that'll be permanently installed as well um, that's about it uh, we've got a few other bits and pieces I guess but that, that covers most of it all our switches and panels and fuse block and stuff all did tucked away in behind here along with the uh, air compressor as well. If you got any questions, shout out. Uh, you need any help with 12 volt stuff, um, feel free to drop us a line on Facebook, email or on the phone. That's all for today. Catch you off road.